guys the b1 is the warm-up match now this is of course the german premium version of the b1 bis which is um kind of a rarity nowadays i mean you have your low and and other vehicles that you could choose from why would you ever want to have one of these well we're gonna find out this is of course the warm-up. The, the main event is next in the T29. And remember, sign up for your free gold. I start giving it out next week. Don't forget to sign up. And share this with your friends. I mean, the, the, the more people that you share this with, the happier I am. Uh, the details about how to win said gold are probably in an annotation right about now-ish somewhere over here on the left side of the screen anyway so Chris Blade in his B1 Abyss is in a tier 4 match which is kind of ideal now there is another PZ B2 on the enemy team that he's probably going to encounter up here and uh, their guns are uh, I hate to say this, their guns are pretty weak. But, could always be worse. Oh, and first customer is a T82. Who lasts all of like two seconds. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Up oh, there's the other B2. We see you, B2. Oh. Yeah, weak guns are weak. They can't hurt each other from the front very well. Chris Blade is maneuvering to try to get something here. Finally gets a penetration through the gunner sights. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what this tank is like. And of course, the already does, you know, hit this tank repeatedly and it hurts very badly. He did hit the light tank. Yeah, gun is weak on pen and on alpha damage. Oh, all of the, uh, all of the artillery firing in his general direction. And still shooting at him. But he just rolls forward, ignores all of the threats, and says, bring it on. Which I could see doing in a heavy tank. Now, he probably should have stopped when he had the other B1's rear and just sort of aimed and started putting rounds into its rear. That would have been easier. RNG is not being kind to ye. Hate to say that, but that's the truth right now. RNG is just not being kind. Then again, this is a terrible, terrible gun. Accuracy. No. Alpha damage? No. Penetration? Not really. However, ready to fire? You got that. Goodbye looks. Cutest tank is now dead tank. And he shrugs off another artillery shell. Why would you even bother to load the HE? Does the HE actually have higher penetration than the AP? Oh, okay. Still just rolling forward, flinging rounds. Seven kills. Will they get eight? 
<laughs> Will he rampage for eight? Oh my god, wow. Tickles all around. I kind of agree. They've just been tickling this tank to death, and it worked. I really wow. There are so many dents and holes, and oh my god, that tank is beat to crap. But you guys didn't come here to see a B1 Bis. You came here to see a T29. I'm gonna go get you your T29 right about now. T29. Here it is. This actually came from a Watt University training day, which I started last week. So this is actually really recent. And I am platooned with Mark IV Tomahawk and Panzer Bill in their T-37s with my T-29. It's a Tier 8 match because there's two Tier 8s on each team. A lot of 6s though. A lot of 6s. And this was before our league match on Monday which puts us up to ninth place in the Silver League out of 19. So we're midway. Hopefully we will be winning net more next week. In the meantime... No. Uh, now the T29's RNG on its 105 is going to cost me later this match. You guys are all looking at this and going, uh, does she think she's a medium or a light? No. I just think I'm crazy. Very, very crazy. It's not like anybody's really going to stop me. Oh, come on. Come on, Mr. Leopard. Come on. There you are. Oh, you're a VK. Even cuter. Uh, too bad for you. Hello, Panzer 4 How are you? You're kidding, right? Critical hit. Finish him. Now we're going to creep up and probably engage that type. Because as hard as those things are to kill, they're not particularly hard with a 190 pin gun. Wait for him to turn aside and blast. Now he's really wondering what just slapped him for 300. Hi, it's just me. Let him have another one right in the side armor. He can't be happy. Type 59 is just getting wailed upon. See the side plate and take it. Snap that shot. Remember, the shot that always misses is the one you don't fire. So that took care of the type. And BK, why are you sitting still? Good night. There is a KV-3. Fling! You know what? That's pretty good RNG right now. Thank you, RNG. Hopefully you maintain that uh, accuracy. American guns. Don't expect them to hit the broadside of a barn sometimes. Now we are calling in advance because we need to kill that KV-3 and secure this side of the map so we can turn around and defend the other side. And that KV-3 is nestled way back there. Not quite sure why he's nestled way back there, but he is literally chickened out on his team. Well, now he's got a T-29 and an SU-100 bearing down on him. Not a happy place for him. There's a hole. Hey, KV-3. <laughs> Bye. Takes care of you. Now let's turn around and head north. I'm going to head north over the hills.
Apparently our SU-51 is not paying attention to the fact we can't actually cap anything. The reason I'm heading north over the hills is so I can actually stop and shoot at anything that gets spotted and thereby take it out. Now our T-28 prototype is doing an excellent job of keeping these guys pinned down and reset. The problem of course being that uh, he's not actually killing tanks and our scouts are dying very quickly. Need to put your focus on something, T28 Prot. And they push out. Now it's 8 versus 11. Not a happy place for us. Prot, you need to kill that scout. You need to kill that scout, or you are going to die. I, however, carefully aim at this 3485 and take him out so that there's now one less gun. And the Prot does kill the scout finally. There's the tiger. I bounced him. Oh crap, there's a T29 behind me and a 25-2. Okay, we gotta deal with this problem. What I should have done here in retrospect is dealt with the tiger and the guys on cap and then worried about the guys behind me. But hindsight's 2020. Somebody's firing AT shells at me. That, however, was a tiger. Oh, it's this Jumbo. Who... I bounced? Yeah. Yeah, we bounced. Okay, I have no scouts, and I'm pinned in from both sides. Alright, T-29, gotta kill it. Come on. Come on, gun. Go where I tell you to. We're just... Come on, RG. You've been nice to me. Stop being mean. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay. Okay, I need one, maybe two more. Oh, come on, come on. Ugh! That prototype should be advancing in there and not stopping, but I don't know. He's scared of a Nash horn. And this T-29 will not leave me alone. Not that I blame him. But those misses have now cost me valuable time to get back to cap. And I need to take this guy out or I'm going to get shot in the ass. There we go. However, not going to make it. Sad but true. I know I'm not going to make it. I doubt the prototype's going to make it. They really need to position that cap circle a little bit better for the defenders because this happens all the time. RNG is not nice to me again, but I'm moving full speed. But that's what a vertical stabilizer's for, right? May as well get my last shot of damage in. Prototype, you got there too late. I don't know why you stopped to engage the national one, but you should have been moving between reloads, and we might have had this. Ah, frustration. But, it is what it is. Did an excellent job bouncing shells and, and delivering some massive amount of damage. I just wish it was a little faster. Oh, well. Let's go have a look. At the stats for this particular match and for the B1 Biss, shall we? So, B1 Biss with Chris Blade. He sent me this in, it was kind of nice. Not a lot of damage! 42 shots fired! <laughs> yeah, the gun on this thing is not accurate or has a very high penetration. However, 18 hits received in a tier 4 match is pretty impressive, even if it only blocked 481 points of damage. Scored his top gun. Scored his ace tanker badge. Relatively easy tank to get that in because there's not a lot of people who play it. And if you just have a decent match, well, you're going to get your ace tanker. <sighs> and this was a relatively decent match, but it's okay for a warm-up. Also nets him 2,500 XP to convert for other vehicles. 
However, it's not what you guys came to see. You guys came to see this. On a loss, ace tanker. High caliber and the top gun. That's right. Oh, wait. It now gives top guns to multiple people. That's sad. I remember the days when only one person could get the top gun, and, and if you tied for kills, it became the person who had the more damage. Now it shares them. Because it was so much fun to steal top guns from people, and they would rage at you. But, alas, 4200 damage is just not going to carry this team. These are Watt University guys. I don't particularly expect them to do extremely well, but they didn't do bad. Um, they just didn't do great. Um, but they're Watt University guys. They are people in training. This is a community effort by Sir Havoc and, and those who want to associate themselves with Sir Havoc to train people to be better at World of Tanks. So, that's why I do it. Um, there will be a live stream later today. It will be with Watt University. I am so sorry. I've had technical issues with yesterday's live stream and with the European live stream today. So, we're just going to have to deal with the fact that you're only going to get the live stream from today from the NA. And then uh, I will hopefully be able to do the European live stream on Saturday. In the meantime, this is Fiora officially signing out for right now. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to sign up for free gold. Bye-bye. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, why not click the like button? It would really help the channel and let me know that you're enjoying my content. Want to see more content? There's a subscribe icon right there so you know when I put up videos, I would appreciate it also if you helped grow this channel's community. So share this with your friends or just put it up on Facebook. Want to help Fiora out directly? There are three ways you can do this. One is the patronage page, which all the investment towards I put right back into the channel through contests and paying for things like video editing software. Then there are two ways to support the channel directly. One is click the ads that YouTube shows you. This is how YouTube pays its content creators, by your clicks on those advertisements. The other and last way to support the channel is through fan funding that is now available through Fiora's channel page. If you happen to have an extra dollar or two, it would really let Fiora know that her videos mean something to you. Anyway, please check out these other videos here on the end page collage. And as always, I will see you on the battlefield or in the next video. Till then, this is Fiora signing out.